received a helpful email from U.S. scientist Don Huber where he included a PowerPoint presentation about glyphosate-induced diseases and how one could deal with them, uh, citing uh, research by another group, uh, the Gerlax. He sent that to me in case I find the information of use uh, while speaking with people in India. I went through the information, had some questions in my mind, called Don up, he was not available, so I sent this email hoping to clarify the point and I'm making this video for inquisitive people who want to know various issues of illness induced by glyphosate in feed. Many thanks Don. Did call you and leave a message, not sure what time frame is good to get you on phone. Anyhow, I have the following questions with regard to your message below. Number one, I understand that Gerlach's papers show how diseases such as botulism due to glyphosate in feed may be neutralized in cows. If my guess is correct, is this a recommendation only for cows or only for humans or both? Don's response. The research was done for cows, but it works for other animals and humans also. There is a threshold needed which Dana Stanley showed for poultry, which was 1% of feed for cleanup telolite. I don't know what the concentration of the liquid humate was, but not as effective as the 120 gm and would be of low solubility. Number two, for the second slide, Botox neurotoxin is, I understand, a neurotoxic protein produced by a family of specific bacteria. Is there a link between this protein and the presence of glyphosate in feed? If yes, what is the link? What are the relevance of AB toxins and CD toxins with glyphosate? Dr. Huber's response, they are the same toxins. There are several species of Clostridium in bracket C, Botulinum, etc. that produce these very powerful neurotoxins, but all are referred to as Botoxes. As Dr. Monica Kruger's team has shown, glyphosate is a powerful antibiotic against the beneficial gut microorganisms, but not Clostridia and other pathogens. When glyphosate antibiotic is in the feed or food, in bracket 0.1 ppm or higher especially, bracket close, the beneficials are killed off but results in gut dysbiosis favoring the Clostridia botulinum etc. which then produce the neurotoxins which kill. There are five modifications of the Botox uh, produced depending on strain mix and each has preference for toxicity against various animals or humans. The two groupings, AB and CD, are because serological reactivity can be used to separate them into these two groups. Number three, quote, the sauerkraut juice is probably from degradation of glyphosate in bracket Acetobacter, bracket close, with humates the most active in absorption removal, unquote. I don't understand the meaning of this sentence. I need help. Dr. Huber's response. There are probably two explanations for the data. One is the degradation of glyphosate by the acetobacter bacteria or others that are involved in the fermentation of sauerkraut. The other explanation is the absorption entrapment of glyphosate by humic acids. Number four, regarding the third slide, the effects of mineral vitamin supplements, my understanding is essential micronutrients in the food such as cobalt, manganese and zinc may be chelated out by glyphosate, thereby amplifying copper-induced toxicity, which may be neutralized by taking additional mineral vitamin supplements. Is that correct? Dr. Huber's response, the glyphosate induced deficiency 
of cobalt, manganese and zinc can be compensated for by additions to the diet. The copper becomes excess or rises because of a tie up of the other minerals so an imbalance is created and copper then predominates. Well that helps uh, Dr. Huber. I much appreciate your help. One of these days I will catch up with you on phone and we will have a chat. Meanwhile, thanks again. Over and out, Tony Mitra.